Hey guys, it's KJ48. Welcome back to my 7 Days to Die single player Let's Play. Uh, this is episode 65. And I'm just sitting here in the pause menu because I think I might have gotten a late horde here because when I stopped the video last uh, last time, uh, all of a sudden I started hearing like zombies everywhere and stuff. Um, I don't hear any right now, but we're gonna, you know, be a little careful here. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't hear any right now. When I When I left the game last time, I heard crazy amount of zombies. Uh, we're just gonna chill here and do a little bit of inventory management. I wouldn't normally wouldn't normally do this on video, but like I said, I think we might be getting hit with some zombies here. So let's just let's just chill for a moment and see what's going on. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Let's put the stone away. Let's put that away. Uh, glass jar can go over here. Now I don't hear any zombies at all. That's so weird. Not sure what's up with that. Uh, we don't need this. We don't need the sniper rounds. Not even sure why I had sniper rounds on me. Should probably use pistol. We have enough rounds? Yeah, we got a lot of rounds for the pistol. Yeah. You don't hear any more zombies at all. I swear to God. I heard those. I heard the hordes like, like a minute after I stopped last video. And I didn't want you guys to miss out on it. So I just said, well, I'll just stop the game and come back. And we'll have a nice word tomorrow, but now they're not here. It's kind of weird. Uh, we'll go with this pistol right here. And that looks good. Alright. Well, let's go look around. See what's uh, see what's going on here. Because I'm not really sure, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, see, it's, it, it was a blood moon. I just didn't get any zombies. Hmm. Kind of bright too, isn't it? It's really bright. Well, we're gonna be flying by the seat of our pants in this video. I don't really have any solid plans except uh, you guys are getting a little. A couple of you guys have. Uh, okay. Um. First of all, I want to explain when I say stuff like my OCD is kicking in and stuff. I do not have OCD. Um. It's just you know. It's just a way of saying that, like, I want things to be right and symmetrical. And just because something's not perfectly symmetrical does not mean it's not right. Uh, it just means it's not perfectly symmetrical. It doesn't... You know what? We're going to stop using the claw hammer. We're going to stop using the, the nail gun for now. Um, it doesn't mean that it's not right. Sometimes something non-symmetrical can look really good. Uh, not everything has to be perfectly right in the middle. But when I say OCD, um, if anyone has OCD or any any like kind of uh, problems like that, you know, I don't mean to offend anybody. So uh, when I say OCD, I'm just kind of playing around. But anyway, um, some people have been uh, chiming in with their own OCD problems that my place is kind of a mess. And, you know, they're kind of right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some tidying up this video. Let me go to my toolbox. This one right here. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to... We're gonna use both these nail guns for the time being, and when they're both when they both run out, then we're gonna go with the. Do I not with my claw hammer? Because the claw hammer gets repaired with metal strips. Uh, it's not as good as the nail gun, but to be perfectly honest, I don't want to be using repair get repair kits on the nail gun until I have a lot. Although now without any without any uh, hordes coming in, like if they do come in, some people have been telling me that the hordes will come in. They'll just come in at off times, like when you're not like at times that don't make any sense. So we'll have to, we'll have to just, I'll leave this uh, setup right here just, you know, for defense. And that right there is a problem. I, I, I saw that little piece that wasn't upgraded there, but I can't upgrade it because the ladder's in the way. And I just didn't feel like taking out the ladder, but whatever. I'll take out the ladder. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. All right. Put you up there. There we go. Put you up there. Upgrade once, upgrade twice. Now there's another problem here. This uh, this part right here should not be metal. All right, you guys wanted me to, you guys wanted me to fix this up. I'm gonna fix this up uh, as best I can. I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna kind of fix all of the mistakes I'm, I've seen. Uh, I usually just ignore this kind of stuff because even though I'm kind of like crazy, I'm gonna say OCD even though I know it's technically not OCD. It's just what we what we say. I've been doing it since 2011 with Minecraft. But, uh, yeah, my OCD uh, bothers me with this stuff, but I just, I don't care enough to fix it. But you guys seem to want me to fix it, so I will fix it for you guys. Alright, this part looks good. I think we're done with this part. I'm gonna go upstairs and we are going to... Oh, I forgot about the ladder. Did I destroy that ladder? I thought I would have, would have picked it up. Apparently not. Okay. 
I thought I would have just picked that ladder up, but I guess not. Alright, ladder. Really hate making three ladders when all I need is one. Oh god, the ladders. I, I don't understand what, what is it, what it is with this bug. I don't I don't know why this bug keeps doing this, but it's getting on my nerves. Alright, there we go. Oh well, look at that one up there. We gotta fix that. Okay. I had to go take care of something really quick. Alright, so you are fixed. I think everything up here is pretty good. Uh these will be taken down, so that's not really a big deal. What we do need to do is that we need to fix the outer wall. Um, the outer wall's been been crushed for quite a while now, so we're going to take some of these. And we're going to take some of these. We have all the materials to fix the outer wall, so there's no reason not to. So this these top two floors look pretty good to me. I'm not seeing anything out of place. Um, maybe you could put another, another railing here, but I kind of like the railing not there because it kind of opens up the room a little bit. Oh, this part. Yeah, this part. You know what, let's do the inside at night. Makes sense. Actually, let's go out the front door. I want to start using the front door when I go outside. It's a little easier to get around. Okay. Alright, looking good. Okay, so here we go. Let's uh, start fixing this place up, shall we? So I think, I'm not sure if we need the claw hammer to fix this or, yeah, we can use the claw hammer, but you can also use, you're also going to need these, uh, the cobblestones at some point, depending on what stage of the destruction the wall is in. These walls actually never got broken through, so that's pretty cool. So you just put, no, I guess you do have to use cobblestone the whole way. That's fine. Nope, you see where it's cracked? Yeah, okay, so I see where it goes. So you use this to fix the cracks. I don't want to waste cobblestones when I could just use a hammer, you know? And look at this one. This is cracked up pretty good. Okay. Damn it. Really? Killing me, game. Killing me. I wonder what happens when you break this part down. Like when it's like half built up. I've never done this before. Oh, nice. Very good. Okay, so this wall is looking pretty good now. Let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Actually, we should be using the nail guns. Let's use the nail guns until they don't have anything left. I'll, I might still use some repair guns on them. Uh, some repair, some repair kits on the nail guns. See, it is a lot quicker. Right. Some people are saying I, I might still get the uh, the horde. It might just come on a different day. So not really sure. You know, at this point, you know, we're kind of uh, we're through the looking glass here. We're uh, we're we're in no man's land. You know, the game uh, is in alpha. They're not. You know, uh, past these days, they don't expect a lot of people to play past these days. I guess. So anything can happen at this point. Which is fine. I would expect the game to start bugging out at this point in the game anyway. I know people play way past this day, but... I don't expect the game to last, you know... I mean, God. How many hours do you think it takes to go through day 57? How many videos do I have up? 65? At uh, 20, 25 minutes each? I'm not doing the math, but if you guys want to, knock yourself out. Let me know. Uh, 65 videos at 25 minutes each. Someone map that up for me, will you? Uh, we don't have any rocks. Damn it, I should have brought some rocks. Fill in these holes. Alright, that's okay. This stuff all is really good because I set it up before the, uh, before the horde. We should start putting up some, some more torches here as well. I mean, is putting up torches here like a waste? They're just gonna get knocked down, right? 
So what? Let them get knocked down. They're only torches. It's nice to have, uh... It's nice to have the, uh, light. Even if it's only, you know, one week. And it gets knocked down, who cares? Just a couple torches you just gotta put back up. Yeah, those damn things. You know what? In the interest of making things symmetrical, this should probably come out. Now, I won't break out the other one because that's, that's, that's metal. I'm not gonna break that. But, uh, the wooden stuff I will break out. I think I'm gonna break out all the little spikes, too. I'm gonna break out the nests. Okay. Does anybody know how far away from, um, an area you have to be to have the items respawn? Just kind of curious. Oh, look at this. Yeah, you know what? We need to go inside and get some more stone. Man, I was really, I was really, uh, hoping I would get a horde, man. I wanted to try out my explosive bolts. Maybe we'll go to the hub city. Maybe what we'll do is we'll make a trip to the hub city in the next few days where we'll just take every, like, explosives. You know, we tried to go to the hub city quietly. I think this time we'll go to the hub city with pipe bombs, TNT, uh, explosive bolts, and just go in, like, heavy and just, like, decimate the whole area. That, that would be pretty funny. I think we will do that, actually. I'm not sure when, but unless I forget, we'll do that. All right, what did I come up here for? Uh, stone. Damn it. That was cl I was close. Uh, right there. So what's today? Today's the 13th. I'm thinking two more weeks till Alpha 13. So I know I know that you guys are waiting for Alpha 13. Uh, Alpha 12 is worn out. It's welcome. I'm, I'm feeling it as well. Uh, I did more videos on Alpha 12 than I've ever done before, and uh, I'm starting to feel it. Um, I enjoy the game. I enjoy it just as much now as I ever have. I just kind of feel like I don't want to make boring videos for you guys, so kind of feel like a little bit of pressure to try and make it exciting when the game's not really helping me out. Not that the game's not exciting or fun, but, you know, it's not really... It's not making it easy, because, uh, you know, well, I mean, just because I'm 65 videos in. Alright, so we're going to need wood frames, try and even this out a little bit. pretty good all right what about over here wood frames even that out nope not there that gets stone now the reason I'm putting in stone instead of dirt is very simple it's stronger you know I don't really care if it matches either it's, it's fine whoa damn you I mean I would like it to match but uh, the difference between the stone and the and the dirt is so minimal anyway I don't really think it's that big of a deal good how does that look yeah it looks pretty good it looks pretty good okay anytime you're doing this kind of voxel based stuff with these really really small chunks of land it's it's never gonna look quite perfect but I think, I, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, you could either have the blocky Minecraft style, or you could have this kind of style. And I think this kind of style is really starting to starting to gain momentum in these types of games. Like, uh, you know, this, Space Engineers, Imperion. A lot of these games kind of have these kind of graphics now where they don't want to do the blocky look. All right. So that's not quite perfect, but it is fine. Okay, here's where I really gotta put some work in. Uh, we need an axe. Ask me a question. I hate the gore blocks, guys. I hate the gore blocks. I think they need to go. Gore blocks need to be gone. I'm sick of them. They're just busy, boring, annoying work cleaning them up. I don't like it. We should probably pick this farm, shouldn't we? Eh, whatever. I'm not really gonna worry about it. Actually, I probably should. I should probably do some hunting, too. Okay. We should make a proper farm. The only problem is I'm not I'm not putting a farm on a roof of any kind of uh, pre-made fabric uh, structure. Um, the structural integrity of the prefabs are suspect at best. And at worst, they're crap. Um, I don't like them at all. Uh, they're they're just garbage. 
so I don't think I'm going to do... I mean, that, that's already getting to be a tall building. A tall, heavy building, as many of you guys have pointed out. Um, I'm not even going to replant that right now. So I'm not going to trust it with any more weight on it. Whoops. By the way, if, if any of you are wondering uh, about this setup and how I feel about it, uh, if I had to give it a grade, uh, I'd give it a C. Maybe a C+. Plus. But I really don't like the setup, and I, I'm not going to use it again. I'm not sad I did it, because it's nice to do different things. But, I don't know, I'm going to have to think about something different for next season. Um, kind of have an idea. First of all, next season, since I built in a prefab this season, I'm thinking next season, unless there's some really cool prefabs introduced to the game, I'm thinking that I'm going to uh, build a, a standalone base. And I'm thinking I want, like, a castle-type structure where I'm going to have an outer wall with buildings inside of it. Uh, the only problem is, in order to do something like that, it'd probably have to be pretty big. And if, once you start making structures too big, uh, you start running into problems of zombies spawning inside the, the, the perimeter. Uh, so i got to be careful about that. But my idea for next season is big outer wall, kind of like this, except I'm going to wait for reinforced concrete. Um, big outer wall, two to three layers of spikes... Uh, this is probably going to be the way I'm going to do the, the... Actually, how am I going to do this? This is probably going to be the way I'm going to do the walkway. Except I might have it come out two, two spots, maybe three. No, two spots. Yeah, I'm thinking two spots. And then I'm going to have... Uh, I'm going to have uh, iron bars going up. And then trussing on top of that. And then iron bars behind me. So I don't have to do it. Hornets. Um, I saw a couple people... Uh, um, on my Patreon world, made I uh, did a Patreon tour uh, during the stream last month, and um, they made some really cool stuff, and uh, like they gave me some really good ideas that I'm gonna steal. <laughs> Thanks, buddies. And then they trolled me. They did crazy things, like uh, they did things that if you think I go crazy, you think I'm driving your OCD up a wall. You should have seen the kind of stuff they built. Why am I still using this hammer? I don't know. Okay. Alright guys, looking good, looking good. Alright. We are almost done with the wall. Now I'm thinking I probably have enough food for the rest of the for the rest of the season. That's why I'm not replanting the farm. Although I might want to do some more hunting. Probably want some meat. Actually that's a really good idea. Maybe I'll go hunting after this. Maybe next video I'll just ro I'll roam the countryside. One of my buddies, Gunner. Uh, who's always comments on my videos and watch my videos for a long ass time really really cool guy He was suggesting that I go nomad just grab as much stuff as I can and just go Travel the countryside, but to be perfectly honest. I, I like the base building part of this game It's the big part for me, and that's why I've never done a nomad thing It just doesn't sound appealing to me And um, I know games for kicks and andoms has tried a nomad series each time and they didn't play it for long So I'm assuming they didn't like it either either they didn't like it or people didn't watch it I don't know either one, but uh, neither season went for long, I don't think. So, it just doesn't... It, it doesn't appeal to me. Alright. Okay. So, how's this side? This side should be fairly... Fairly untouched. Yeah, this side's looking good. Meh. Okay, so this side's looking good. We got a couple cracks over here. No big deal. Guys, our wall is finished. You OCD people, uh, there you go. There you go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go inside the wall. Let's just take one more walk around it. Make sure everything's okay. I'll just wait until that breaks, because that, that's still going to hurt zombies, so... Now this one comes out three and the other side comes out two. Yeah, we should fix that. Yeah. Well, should it come out three? I don't think coming out three really helps it that much. So I'm not going to do three on the other side. Although, it doesn't it doesn't match. Alright, I'll do three on the other side just so it'll match. Now you guys got me thinking about it and I'm just like, nah, I gotta, it's got to match. Okay, well, this side never even gets hit. So. Okay. 
All right, now let's go inside and start working on this. Unless you guys think we should start putting up some more lights. We probably should start putting up some more lights, but in the uh, in the interest of keeping this an OCD quality assurance, uh, you know, video, I'm just going to go in and clean up the inside a little bit. We should really finish this before the end of the season. <laughs> I'm still getting over being sick. Sorry, guys. That just uh, made me laugh. Uh, that amused me to no end. Oops. Oops. Yeah, let's get rid of these. I was just gonna wait for these to break on their own, but they never quite broke. You know, we got plenty of... I don't know what the hell we're saving all this grain alcohol for. Wait. Okay. I thought I heard something. Come on. I'm gonna leave these spikes in now. First of all, it would take too long to break them out. Second of all, it would be kind of pointless. Did I pick these up? I don't want to pick these up. Okay. Yeah, I could pick those up, but I'd, I'd rather just break them. Wow, we still got a lot over here. I'm surprised these never got these never got broke up, man. I put these down like like 30 days ago or something like that. Alright guys, all I have to do is break up these small spikes, so I'm gonna call this one here. Uh, when I come back to when I come back next video, hopefully if I remember, uh, we will fit we will finish the entrance, okay? Um not even sure how I wanna make it to be honest. I'll have to think about that off camera. Anyway, that's going to be it for episode 65. We'll see you next time for episode 66. Till then, take it easy.